Hey everyone, it's that time of the month where we sit down and look at all the good stuff that I have found in the last month on Amazon. And I have found a lot of stuff. We are in a weird time of year. It's wintry kind of for some of the country. We're moving into spring for a lot of the country. We're back and forth. So I have pieces that we can wear now, a few, and then I'm gonna share with you some more moving into spring, summer resort wear stuff as well. Okay, so as always, I will have everything numbered up on the screen. I will have it listed down in the description box with all the info and links, as well as pinned to the top of the comments. The QR code up there for those of you watching at home on a big screen TV, you can just scan it with your phone and pull up the description box that way. And let's start off tops with this striped sweater. This is one of those wear now, use it as more of an accessory later. So now obviously it's a sweater. It's a lightweight sweater, it's 100% rayon. Stripes are having another moment. I don't know that stripes are ever gonna go out of style, but there's more emphasis on striped tops specifically right now. So we're gonna go with that. But I like that it's not just a basic black and white stripe sweater. I love the contrasting red trim on the neckline, the cuffs and the hemline. The hemline has a little bit of a high-low thing happening, but it's very, very subtle because this is rayon and it's thinner. You could easily tuck this in all the way or leave it untucked. It's entirely up to you. And what I mean by using this as an accessory later is because it's the rayon and it's lightweight and it's drapey, you could wear this thrown over your shoulders and tied in that preppy style that is making a comeback as well. So really versatile piece and and of course, with all things Amazon, you don't have to get it in this color combination. There are a few more as well. The second top I wanna to share, I've shared it before. It's part of the Amazon Essentials line and I ordered it previously in the ivory and I love it so much. It's just a basic cardigan that I ordered again in the navy. You can wear it like as a closed sweater. It's gonna be a little bit lower in the cleavage if that's something that you're comfortable with. I like it layered over things. I think it would be great layered over a similar colored tank. You could wear it open, but going back to that more preppy look that is very popular right now, just over a basic white tee or a white tank. The whole outfit screams basic, which is also very preppy. It's very comfortable. You could wear it open, thrown over your shoulders. Lots of options. It's just one of those pieces that you can grab. You know you're gonna be able to use it in a variety of ways. The third top I wanna share with you is something I shared with you during one of my recent Walmart hauls. So the puff sleeve has been around for a few years. It's still a thing. This is a little bit of a, a variation on it. So instead of a full on puff, it has a little twist on the sides of the sleeves. So if you don't love the full on puff sleeve, I think this variation might be a little more attractive to you. I liked this concept so much. I bought it in the pink that you're seeing, white and also black. And I like that it's also a little bit more fitted in the body. It's not as tight as a bodysuit. We're gonna see that soon but it is a more fitted feel. Not body conscious, but I would say fitted. It's a basic tee for spring and summer that's not so basic. Number four, I think is such an interesting twist on a popular trend we've been seeing. So we're all familiar with the lady jacket or the lady sweater trend with the gold buttons down the front and the breast pockets with the gold buttons and it's usually in a sweater. We've seen it in J. Crew. we've seen it at Walmart, we've seen it on Amazon, we've seen it across all the retailers and price points. This is a blouse. So it has texture to it. So it, it almost looks like a sweater, but it is very much a blouse. It is very lightweight. It is not meant to be a sweater. So if you order this and you pull it out of the bag and you think, wow, this is really flimsy. It's a blouse. It is not a sweater. What's not flimsy are those gold buttons. Those are actual metal buttons. The breast pockets are not functional. They're just sort of decorative, but it's a very lightweight, warm weather version of this jacket that is enjoying much success across all the price points. I think this is a great top for work wear. I think this is a great top to dress up just a basic pair of jeans. I wanted to order the lightest, that ivory shade to see if it was see-through. If you're wearing your skin tone bra, you will be fine. The fabric has a really nice texture to it. I was really pleased with it. And of course, I'm gonna say it again, it's Amazon, so you know it comes in a ton of colors. I mentioned bodysuits earlier and top number five looks like a bodysuit, feels like a bodysuit. It's from a brand on Amazon that is famous for their bodysuits. In fact, we're gonna see it next after this one, but this is a tee. It is not a bodysuit. It just gives you the look of it without having to deal with the one piece nightmare that is sometimes a bodysuit. So it's a great alternative. It did not ride up. I'm wearing it in the size small and I've generally been tending towards extra small these days. It was very snug. So if you're concerned about sizing, or if you're in between sizes, I would size up one. It is double lined. If you pull on the fabric, you, you can feel it. So it has a nice thickness to it. I am wearing 
the Soma Endless, what am I wearing? The Soma Endless Wireless Bra, and you can't see it. It's just, it's a great, really well-made solid tee. Comes in all the colors, and it comes in lots of variations as well as, as, as the bodysuit I'm about to show you, like a V-neck line, long sleeves, all kinds of things. It's a great brand. So moving along with that, number six is the actual bodysuit version of it. And I have to tell you, now that I've tried on the T version, I don't know that I would necessarily reach for the bodysuit. It is a snap style on the bottom, very much a thong. I used to live in thongs. I don't know how I made it through my 30s wearing thongs, but I did. And now I'm older and I know better and I'm just, I can't, I can't do it. It's uncomfortable. So I will admit to you, I've kept wanting to reach in and dig through that whole try-in. Now I know a lot of you love your thongs, so it probably won't bother you, but I needed to share with you. I don't want anyone buying this thing and then getting mad at me when I didn't mention the dental floss up the rear end. I will say it gives a very nice, slim, sleek look. There are times you need a full body suit if you're wearing something that's a little too see-through on the side. So I understand the need for it and I would recommend it. It's amazing quality, also double-lined, doesn't show through anything, lots of colors, same kind of sizing. I would say as the t-shirt, just, it has a fun. For number seven, let's go in the opposite direction. There is nothing tight or uncomfortable about this at all. I'm sure you have seen this all over social media. It is the blouse that is taking Amazon by storm. It's from a brand that I order from all the time. The puff sleeves are not lined, but the body is lined. I love the eyelet. There's a bunch of different color options. There's something about that bright blue. They had it in a bright green. That sold out pretty quickly. I'm, I'm wondering if they will restock it, but I've also seen people wearing it in the neutral colors. It has buttons to about, I'd say mid sternum. Those are functional, but once the lining kicks in, those are just decorative buttons. So it doesn't unbutton all the way. It just looks like it does. That's a statement piece without the statement price. And I'm really, really pleased with it. I think it's gonna look great with some linen pants and joggers as we move into warmer weather. Regular blue denim jeans, white jeans and white pants. It's when it's really gonna pop. Now let's talk about some pants. And by some, I mean one, one pair of pants. So a lot of people have been recommending these pants and so I picked them up and I will just tell you, these are not the best quality of all the things I've ever tried from Amazon. I do think these serve a purpose, so I will give you both sides of the coin here. They are just about $40. And now I'm seeing really well-made suiting type dressier pants at Walmart, at Kohl's, you know, other Amazon retailers. However, the advantage that this one has is it does come in different inseam lengths, which is pretty important. I'm wearing the short inseam length and a ton of colors and it can get to you quickly. So I understand that there's a need for these and I wouldn't say to not buy them. I just want to share with you what it is about them that I was like, it's a little off. So the pockets are very shallow. I can't put my hands really all the way in. I can only put my hands in and keep them straight down at my sides. The other thing is that it has a hook and eye closure and a zipper and then a button, like a tab button to keep it well closed. The button is so directly next to that hook and eye closure. It's a very awkward closer closure. And the stitching for the button is visible on the front of the pants. If you're wearing a belt or you blouse out your shirt, you can't see it. And again, this is just one piece. Maybe this one got past quality control. I don't know. Again, I love how it looked. Like if you didn't come up to me and look really closely with a magnifying glass, I loved how it looked. It wasn't see-through. It drapes beautifully. It steamed really well. We're going to talk about steaming in a minute. I love that it has an elastic waist, belt loops, great price point. So, so many positives, but was this my favorite piece of clothing I've ever bought from Amazon? No, especially not with all the other options that are popping up in similar or even less price points. Now let's move on to sets and dresses. Actually, I have two sets to talk about, but only one arrived in time for me to film right now. Hopefully before this video goes live, I will get the second set. So the set I have, brace yourselves, I'm in shorts. If you're a longtime viewer, you're, you know I never wear shorts. And I will warn you now, I didn't really, I have like a leftover tan. I'm pretty pasty white. So put on your sunglasses. Here we go. This two-piece short set is going to blow up. I just know everybody's gonna be sharing this on Instagram. It's adorable. It's a gauzy material, which has become very popular for good reason. It needed just a minimal amount of steaming out of the package. It comes in tons of colors. I love the elastic waist. I love the, the color I chose, it's called Rose. I think this is the summer version of the work from home outfit because of the color. It looks a little more, I don't wanna say professional, it's not, but you know what I mean. It looks a little nicer than just like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, but it's so lightweight. 
and gauzy. I will admit, I still don't love wearing shorts, but I'm really excited about that top. I would have paid this price just for the top. So I'm looking forward to wearing that top with my lightweight joggers, my linen pants, all the summery things. It's a really, really cute set. This second set I saw recently featured on Amazon and I got excited about it because it looks very much like something that is Spanx inspired without the Spanx price tag. So I immediately ordered it and I have to stress that these are listed as cropped length pants. So the length is exactly how it is described. If you don't like cropped, skip these. But I have to tell you, I am super excited about this set. It's a blend of rayon and polyester with like a little bit of spandex. So it's really stretchy and flowy but it's not the same material as the Spanx Air Essentials. It's absolutely not. It looks similar to pieces from the Air Essentials line, but the material is not the same, especially the top. The top is a thin weight, almost athletic kind of fabric. It's not quite that casual feeling because it's much more thin, almost like a microfiber. That's the word I'm looking for. If you remember sort of like the dry fit shirts that were very popular from Nike back in the day, it's more of that kind of material. So it's really lightweight. I think it would be great for summer all on its own. I've been wearing it around the house with a cardigan over it because it's currently pretty cold outside. But this is gonna be a great travel outfit, a great throw on and go outfit. What I love about it is there is a really nice size range. And what I love about this option is they do have pockets, which I love. And the color selection is incredible. I am definitely picking up probably the navy, maybe even the ivory. This is just one of those sets I can wear on repeat if you're looking for a great work from home outfit, especially if it's something where you have to get on camera. The mock neck looks rather professional. You throw a blazer over it, you are good to go. So this is another standout find. I've saved my favorite category out of clothing for last, and that is dresses. I think Amazon is fun in the fall and the winter. There's some great finds, but they just kill it with the dresses. So this first dress has to be my favorite piece of the haul. This scallop trim, button down, puff sleeve, maxi dress. The buttons go all the way down. It comes with that removable, same material belt. It's 49% viscose, so it's really flowy and pretty. It's machine washable. It's very roomy, so if you don't tie that belt, you're gonna look, well, you'll see a similar one coming up where I don't show with the belt, so you kind of get the same idea. So the sizing is very forgivable. I'm wearing it in a small, comes in lots of colors. I love the bright red. I, I rarely buy bright red, but I love it. But if you like more of the pastel, there's lots of colors, pinks and lighter colors. There's, there's other options. Love that it has pockets. I feel like this would be something I'd find in Anthropology for over $100 and it's around 40 bucks on Amazon. Just love it. This one is a seersucker high sleeve dress and it's so, it's just so pretty. I bought it in the pink, so it's really feminine. It just screams Easter or Passover, I guess, or Mother. Mother's Day, springtime, just spring. But it also comes in a really pretty pastel blue. It's a seersucker fabric, it's not cotton. It's like a rayon polyester type feel to it. It's big, it runs big. I am wearing it in the small. So if you cannot size down in this, then I would recommend a belt. I would still recommend a belt with it. I think it is beautiful. I just grabbed one of my go-to belts from Amazon, comes in a pack of three. I share these over and over and over. So they just, it just goes right on. There's no holes. You just put it where you, how tight you want. And then it's very wearable. This one also reminds me of something that you would find from Anthropology. I think it is absolutely beautiful and it is gonna be great for all all kinds of spring and summer events that you may have. Now this next dress is not gonna be for everyone. I get that. I am still going to share it because I like it and it serves a purpose in my closet. So this is a boho maxi dress and it comes in lots of different color styles, but I purposely chose one that was a little more of a earthy tone kind of boho chic look. It's huge. It's, it's huge. It would be a great swim cover up. It's a great kind of house dress for summer. For my fellow Texans and anyone who lives in the deep south, Arizona, anywhere where it gets really, really, really hot and humid, Houstonians, I'm talking to you, when it's so hot, you don't want anything touching you, but you cannot just lay around naked, this is gonna be the dress that you throw on, even just to wear around the house. It's just airy and light, and it looks like you're dressed. <laughs> You could belt it. You could absolutely belt it. Sometimes you just need a dress where you don't have to do it. You just throw it on over your head. It's no fuss. You look like you're dressed. This is for me. You will be seeing this styled, I think, a ton come summertime. 
And then the last dress I have to share with you is definitely resort wear now or summer dress later. It is a scalloped trim tank style maxi dress. The dress has a nice weight to it. It's not lined, but it feels like a good quality fabric. It has a side zip. I love the scallop trim. I love how it flares. I especially love that I can wear a regular bra and it wasn't showing. So you don't have to get any kind of strapless or razorback. So I love that. I think this, again, would look great for a lot of different events coming up. I'm thinking about Fiesta, if you live in San Antonio, but just so many fun things to wear it to. A fun party dress, and I'm wearing it in the color Lake Blue. Couple of pairs of shoes to share with you. The first should look familiar, because I have been wearing them nonstop in the white. I ordered them again in the pink. Love them. I think it's such a fun pop of color with an all neutral outfit. Great for springtime. Just a tip on the sizing on these. They run a little wide, so normally I'm a true size seven and my feet aren't officially in the wide range, but they are wider. And I had to size down a half size to the six and a half and then they are perfect. Then we have these. So I love clear strap shoes. I have a pair of like a stacked heel that is a little easier to walk around and a little less formal. But when I saw these, I knew I had to give these a try. The pointed toe was screaming my name. I love a high heel. Maybe not quite this high. So this shoe comes in two heights, four and a third, I think, inch, and then three and a half inch. This is the four plus inch, and these are tough for me to walk in. I am out of practice. However, I'm going to order them again in the three and a half inch. Four inches, I'm good. Three and a half inches for me will be a piece of cake. So I just wanted you to be aware when you're looking at them on the site, make sure you are looking at the correct heel height that you want. I am keeping these around because I have a couple pairs of pants and dresses that I'm too lazy to go get hemmed. So this will work with those. A few home things that I want to recommend. The first is a new steamer. And this one isn't going to be for everyone. This is not a travel steamer. This is like a professional grade steamer. In fact, I found this steamer when I was visiting the offices at a Vara, and they are doing photo shoots almost every day. They're staging clothing, and I saw them prepping clothing for an upcoming shoot, and I said, oh my gosh, where did you get that? And they said, Amazon. So they sent me the link, and I bought it. So this Jiffy steamer comes in different models. I'll link below the exact one that I got. I think I got the most expensive option because I steam a lot of clothes and I used it to steam the clothes in this video. And okay, here's the thing. It takes 15 minutes to heat up, but once it does, I mean, it is like, boom, 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 done, next. I, it is so much more intense than my little travel steamer. I love my travel steamer, and if it's something I need to do quickly as I'm walking out the door, I'm reaching for my travel size steamer, which I will also link below. But if I know I have a huge haul and I have a lot of clothes to do at once, or I've just done laundry and there's a ton of stuff that needs to be steamed, this is the one. I love it. I don't know why I waited this long. It is big, it's on wheels. It is big though, so you know it has a, a footprint to it. Just wanna keep that in mind. Mine is living kind of in a corner of my closet because I don't have a normal size laundry room, but wow, this one, major game changer in the steaming. And then I had mentioned in an earlier video that I was trying to replicate a Pottery Barn centerpiece with faux daffodils, faux narcissus flowers for spring, and I didn't wanna spend, I think it was close to $350 on that because I'm pretty sure between what I found at Walmart and the faux flowers on Amazon, I could do it myself. And I did, and I just wanna give you another shot of that. The planter and the rocks are from Walmart, but those faux daffodils Daffodils are from Amazon or they're narcissists. To me, they look like daffodils. I just want to point out it is almost impossible to find the real. No, it isn't. I couldn't find it. These are the only actual faux narcissists or daffodils or paper whites. Some of them. It, I was looking under all those categories. Impossible to find that didn't look really chintzy or were just as expensive. And I might as well have just gone to Pottery Barn. So I am really pleased with them. I don't think they're going to pass the up close or those real tests, but I think they're really pretty on my dining room table and they're staying. The last home recommendation, it's not new, but I really started depending on these this month. So I love my AirPod Pros from Apple. I love them so much that I left them in my pocket when I washed them a couple weeks ago and they did not, they did not make it through the wash. And then I remembered, I keep these as a backup. Now these are my primary ones and I honestly love them better. These are the Raycon earbuds and other than the fact that the case is sometimes a little tricky to open because it doesn't have like a little latch, I love how these fit in the ear. Boom, 
And they, I mean, you could like shake your head around. I wear these when I dry my hair so I can listen to my podcasts or keep watching YouTube videos. I love that they're just not as visible and they still can pick up your voice. You can talk on the phone, connect them to a laptop, whatever. So I love these. They come in lots of colors. I've mentioned it before, but now my entire family is using these. Everybody has a pair not in the rose gold, those are mine. Now let's talk about a few beauty products. Let's start with this gloss. I believe this was in a favorites video recently. It's the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Lip Gloss and you can get it from different retailers, but if you want it really fast, like I did, you order it from Amazon and I'm wearing it in the shade Self Worth. I'm wearing it over uh, the Revy lipstick in Dahlia. I love wearing it by itself as well. I shared recently on Instagram stories that due to allergies, cold, all that stuff, I've been doing a lot of mouth breathing, especially when I'm sleeping at night and my lips got so chapped, especially in the corners, just completely scabbed over, it was disgusting. I tried all the things, all the lip balms I have in the house, Vaseline, Aquaphor, nothing was really fully healing it. And a bunch of you reached out and said, I need to get the Paula's Choice Lip and Body Treatment Balm. And I knew I needed it immediately, so found it on Amazon, it's $15 worth every penny. I shared already on stories how amazing this is. It's a very hard balm, can you hear that? It's, it's very hard, it's not like Vaseline, and just a little bit, I'm not gonna put it over my lips, but I am not exaggerating. Within 15 minutes, my lips were essentially back to normal. This is, I don't know what's, I mean, I know what's in here because the list of ingredients is quite long with an impressive amount of oils and moisturizers. Go ahead and click the link if you wanna read it. It's, it's a really impressive list of things. If you buy one thing from this video, if you're dealing with chapped lips at all, I haven't tried it as a body balm anywhere. I imagine if my nose was running and I was getting dry patches around my nose, it would be great for that too, but this is amazing. A few of you ordered it based on my recommendations and have already contacted me and said, Yes, you are not exaggerating. This stuff is amazing. So if you're dealing with the dry chapped lips of the winter season, this is gonna be your new favorite thing. I decided to try a new sunscreen. I wanted something that I could wear almost as foundation for those quick run out the door days where I actually don't wanna put on makeup. And a lot of my friends had recommended the Revision sunscreen. This is quite pricey, but it's also kind of amazing. It's their IntelliShade Original. It's a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 45, and it does the job of covering without quite as heavy of feeling as foundation, but definitely evens out the skin tone. A Little bit of concealer if you have some blemishes and under the eyes, your good, mascara, little lip gloss, I'm good to go. I love this. I am thinking about doing kind of like a broad search for tinted, sunscreens that can do double duty almost as like a CC cream, but not even that heavy. Just if you don't want, the days you don't want foundation, but you do want some coverage. So this is the first one to test. I'd actually like to hear from you in the comments if you know of some other ones. And I'm not talking about CC creams. I'm talking about products that are marketed specifically as tinted sunscreens. Let me know. And as we get closer to summer, I will give you the results. So the last product, that I wanna share with you today is actually something I've talked about before and I reordered. It's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I don't actually use dry shampoo all that much, like maybe every other week or so. But if you have dirty hair and you just, the timing isn't right to do a full wash day, this is the only dry shampoo I have used that actually dr like cleans your hair. It gets rid of the oil buildup, any grease that you can see and gets you like another day or two. I mean, it's not gonna take the place of actually washing your hair, <laughs> but if you're like me, hair washing day is like a whole, it's, a, it's an experience. It's a, it's a scheduled event, it cannot be rushed. And sometimes you need your hair to look better than it currently does and you do not have time to wash all of it. And so it's this one and make sure you get the advanced clean dry shampoo. It actually, it says on the bottle, actually cleans hair, softens and shine. I don't know about that, but it, it definitely, it does add volume too. This is clean hair, so I didn't use it today, but I need to recommend that. So that's it for this month's Amazon haul. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.